Live from the Multi-GP Headquarters, this is Multi-GP News. Today on Multi-GP News, the 2017 spec class voting is finally over and we've got the results you've been waiting for. Plus, some of the biggest names in FPV making their way to the International Open. Find out the star-studded pilots who will be there. Also, Mr. Steele and Ladrib taking a 12-day trip to Europe with only $500 in their pocket. But it's what happened before they even set foot on the plane that will have you on the edge of your seat. What's up, everyone? I'm Chris Thomas. And I'm Frank Realize Maiden. All this and much more coming up right after the break. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get started with our top stories in this week's Morning Quad. The 2017 MultiGP Spec Class voting is officially over. MultiGP news reporter Nelson Aquino has the details. And the wait is finally over. The 2017 MultiGP Spec Component vote is done. We want to thank all the pilots who took the time to vote. We also want to thank all the participating manufacturers who submitted components for our consideration. We want to thank Atmospheric Adventures, Cobra Motors, Dow Props, Emacs, Flynoceros, Immersion RC, Multirotor Mania, Pirro Flip RC, Pulse Batteries, Race Day Quads, Tattoo, Team Black Sheep, Thunder Power RC, Team Motor, and Video Aerial Systems. Whether you decide to participate in spec racing or not, we want you to know that supporting these companies helps support our sport overall. The proceeds from their contributions will help benefit up to 50 chapters with brand new gates and flags. And now that the voting is done, that means pilots can start getting their gear together for the $5,000 spec race purse at the International Open. We also have some exciting ideas for local races and other ways to incorporate spec racing into local clubs. To stay up to date with all things regarding the 2017 spec program, visit www.multigp.com slash page slash spec. And the 2017 MultiGP National Drone Racing Championship is only a few months away. The event will take place alongside the world famous Reno Championship Air Races this September. Here's a quick reminder to secure your spot in the race. Method number one, be the champion. One of these spots automatically goes to the last year's champion, Sean Nightfury Taylor. Method number two, come first or second at a multi-GP regional final. 28 more spots go to the top two pilots from each of the final regions. Method number three, rank highly at a multi-GP regional final. If you come in third through six at a regional final, you will also go to Reno and enter in the Sirius 60. The 14 fastest pilots will advance to the final 56. In addition, the remaining 30 top ranked pilots from all the regional finals based on three of their five rounds will be added to the list. And method number four, beat the UTT threshold twice. These 30 pilots will need to post two times under the thresholds listed on multigp.com on two different tracks. Pilots from the list and the UTT pilots will combine to face off in a three round race where 12 of these pilots will fill out the fast 56 who will still have a shot at the 2017 National Championship. The Riot International Open is drawing near and some of the biggest names in FPV have confirmed their arrival. We've got Young Rock Sun, who's a drone racing beast out of Korea, McFly, one of Florida's top pilots, Johnny FPV, DRL star and freestyle champion at the World Drone Prix, and Gary Kent, one of the fastest out of UK, who races with Tornado X Blades, also now known as Next Blades, and finally Banny UK, the young drone racing superstar who took first place in the World Drone Prix, taking home a prize of a quarter of a million dollars. If you've wanted to meet and more importantly race with these pro pilots, now is your chance. The International Open offers lots of goodies for pilots from freestyle, racing, to UTT spec racing, and much more. The event features eight flying sites, spread over 1,200 acres of FPV heaven at the historic Academy of Model Aeronautics headquartered in Muncie, Indiana. Remember, log on to eventbrite.com to get your tickets today. Imagine taking a 12-day trip from Dublin to Rome with only $500 in your pocket. That seems unreasonable. Well, that's exactly what Rotor Riot's The Drib and Steel Davis were challenged to do by none other than Chad Capper. The only problem is, day one of the challenge, Le Drib lost his luggage on the way to Dublin and still got stranded in Canada. Le Drib's luggage may have been out of sight, but he was able to hang out with some really cool people in Dublin, Keith Tracy and Gavin Phelan. 
who found him a spiffy jumper to wear. Steel, making the most of his delay in the Great White North by attending a race where pilots battled the UTT 4 track, the event hosted by none other than our very own Joe Scully. Steele took part in the rando roll competition, he also helped out and gave prizes to the top pilots. The goal of this challenge is to go on adventures through several countries, fly interesting places along the way, and most importantly, hang out with the locals and personally thank them for supporting the growing hobby. Both Madrid and Steele will be attending the Bryant International Open in August and they will have tons of stories from, to share with us from their amazing and crazy trip. Wow, that sounds really exciting. I, I, I'll be watching. Well, coming up tomorrow, he's a pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, but he also enjoys flying quads. We sit down with Trevor Bauer, who tells us how he got his start in FPV, and yes, it involves YouTube videos. Also, a full recap of the seven regional qualifiers this past weekend, plus the pilots who made it to the finals. Then, we're taking you to the sailing capital of the world, where we meet the Maryland Quad Racers. It's our featured chapter of the week. That's all the time we have for this episode of MultiGP News. Remember, if you have a story you'd like to share on an upcoming episode, email us at news at multigp.com. And don't forget to check out tomorrow's show on our MultiGP YouTube channel. It's going to be an exciting one. It's just like this one, but it's on Sunday. And also, we're aiming to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon on your YouTube channel. We'll see you tomorrow morning on MultiGP News. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Maynard. And I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, press the like button below and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in being showcased in the next episode of MultiGP News, please contact us at news at multigp.com.